Happy Monday! Today we're going to talk about my new book, brand new, hot off the presses, How to Get a Miracle, available today at Amazon. Hallelujah! I'm going to put a link on that for you so you can get this book. This is an amazing book. It's not real long. It's probably about 80 pages long. But you know, the truth of the matter is, I know how to get a miracle. I know how to make miracles happen. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to God. We can get miracles for people. You are going to be amazed by this book. I can get miracles for myself. I can get miracles for other people. Amen. It's right there in the introduction. This is this is wonderful book. In this book are all kinds of testimonies about people who get miracles. Amen. Don't forget to call me today for your weekly blessing. Amen. And also, if you do offerings and donations today, which a lot of people do on Monday, make sure you call me because I want to speak that blessing over you. Amen. Glory to God. Share this with everybody you know. How to get a miracle. Because I know how to get miracles. I can get them for myself. And I can get them for other people. Actually, I can get a miracle for anybody. I actually know three different ways to get miracles. <clears throat> the truth of the matter is, I can get a miracle for anybody. I know how to do this. This is amazing. And it's not hard. <clears throat> it's not hard. If you will read the New Testament, it's all right there. It's all right in there. And, and I show you. I show you scripturally where it is, how to get it. Click on the link. I'm going to put the link in there so you can go to Amazon and get that. Amen. Glory to God. And it's going to be in my text message today. So if you get my text messages, and if you don't, go to my website and sign up for them. And it's going to be in there so you can get a link right to the Amazon page for this book. It's eight ninety five, and it will teach you how to get miracles. And if you're still not sure about how to get a miracle, or if you need a miracle today, call me. We do miracles for people all the time. I'm telling you, my whole life and my whole ministry has been surrounded by miracles. Amen. This has been going on for 30 years. First miracle I ever saw was... I got a hold of this about how to do this. And uh, when I did, I went, whoa. And I'm telling you, not an hour, very soon after that, when I was working at a used car lot in the sales department, a man, uh, and I was the manager, man come out of the uh, service department. And he said, Jimmy says, I won't be at work tomorrow. He says, because I blew out my knee. And I said, oh, I walked over to him. And I said, do you believe God can heal you? He said, yeah. I put my hand on his shoulder. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command that knee to be healed. He went back into the service department. Half an hour later, so I went back there and I said to him, I said, how's your knee? He said, you're not going to believe this, but the swelling is going down. His knee was so swollen up that his pants wouldn't even fit. I said, okay. So I went back out. Half an hour later, it was 5 o'clock, time to quit. He came out and he says, I'll be at work tomorrow. He says, my knee is completely cured. He said, cured, it's completely cured. I said, praise God. He went out the door and I went, whoa! God has just done a miracle through me. And I'm telling you what, folks. That was the very beginning. It, there has been literally thousands and thousands of them. Somebody stayed in our house last night, bless her heart, who came to us with an aggressive brain tumor five years ago. Somebody brought her to church. They were talking about that today, that they, they picked her up and now brought her to church. And she was healed of an aggressive brain tumor. I spoke over her about the tumor going away. And then I said, when you go up there on Friday, she was scheduled for surgery on Friday. I said, when you go up there on Friday, you tell them to do another MRI 
and they will cancel the surgery. She told him to do another MRI. They had her prepped for surgery. They canceled the surgery because the doctor said the tumor is shrinking. He said, come back in. He says, come back in uh, two months. I want to look at you again. He did another MRI two months later. The tumor was gone. She had received a wonderful, wonderful miracle. And she's still part of our church. And she's uh, been part of our staff. And she helps. And it's, it's she's just wonderful. And to that, I say glory to God. That's what miracles are all about. Amen. Jesus went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Every supernatural healing is a miracle. Every supernatural financial increase is a miracle. And not only will God do healing miracles, but he will do financial miracles just as quick. And we get a lot of those. Say, so Pastor Jim, you prayed for me and I got the money. Pastor Jim, one, one person uh, asked me to pray for him one time. He said, I need $20,000 right away. He had it in two hours. He sent me a text back. He had it in two hours. Glory to God. Another person called me and said, my company is going down the drain. I spoke over him. He fussed and fussed and fussed. And he called me 10 times that evening. People on my staff that were here that evening and our, our staff, we work through the evenings usually and everybody's around and they, they, he kept calling. I kept putting him on speaker so everybody could hear him. He fussed and fussed. And finally I said, do you believe I can do this for you? He says, yes. I said, then shut up and let me do it. The next morning, somebody walked into his office at nine o'clock, put in an order for I don't know how much and paid him right on the spot. He took the check to the bank. His company was back in business. He had, and there was that much profit in that deal. Glory to God. Now that's how God does miracles, folks. That's how he does miracles. Amen. We uh, had a major uh, failure in our lives, in our ministry uh, a few years ago. Took away all of our money. And I said to Mary, I said, you know what? The blessing of Abraham belongs to us. And she said, it does. Three days later, there was a huge check in our mailbox. Come to find out that check had been written right about the time I said that. Now that brought a miracle. Glory to God. Whatever it is that triggers a miracle in your life, we can get it for you. I want to get that miracle for you. In this book, you're going to learn how to get miracles for yourself or members of your family or friends. You will be amazed by how simple it is to get miracles. I'm telling you people, it's not that hard. It's not that hard to get miracles. We can even help you if you need help. Amen. In order for a miracle to occur, somebody has to perform a miracle. Somebody has to cause it to happen and somebody must receive it. Sometimes the same person who caused it to happen is the same one who receives it. I have caused miracles in my own life. Amen. But I have caused thousands of them to happen in the lives of other people. Jesus, his whole ministry, he was his ministry on this earth lasted for three years. And it was all about miracles. I mean, it was just one miracle after another. Read through the Gospels about Jesus performing the miracles and see what it took to make them happen. Because somebody has to do a miracle. Amen. Miracles are available everywhere, everyone, and easy to get. God is always ready, willing, and able to perform a miracle. You cannot buy a miracle, and you cannot earn a miracle. Amen. So many people just say, well, Pastor Jim, I want to hook up with you, and I want to be a, a, a tithing or a paying partner. Folks, let me tell you something. That don't get you a miracle. Amen. I'll tell you what gets you a miracle. It's just let me do it. Amen. We get a lot of miracles for people who never donate a penny. I tell people this. You cannot buy the answer to prayers. You cannot buy a miracle. But they are available to everybody. Glory to God. There's people out there trying to sell miracles and sell deliverance and sell things like that. Let me tell you, folks, that stuff is not for sale. 
We appreciate your offers, offerings and donations because it helps us send this message around the world. But believe me, many people that I get miracles for never donate a penny. And that's okay. That's okay because God takes good care of us. Amen. God will do financial miracles just as quick as he will do a healing miracle. Miracles get attention because everyone loves miracles and gets excited by them. Miracles will draw a crowd. People want to see miracles. Amen. The Bible is full of miracles. Jesus came into the world as a result of a virgin birth. That was a huge miracle. I'm telling you what, if you can believe that Jesus was born of a virgin, died and rose from the dead, you can believe for a miracle for yourself. Amen. That's the two biggest miracles this world has ever seen. The virgin birth of Jesus and him raising from the dead. And both of them happened. I believe both of them with all my heart. And they happened. And then Jesus got those miracles. The Bible is full of these miracles. And God is always ready, willing, and able to do a miracle. Amen. Miracles are surprising and welcome events, which are highly impossible or extraordinary. They cannot be explained by natural or scientific laws, and they are very, therefore considered to be the work of divine intervention. That's what a miracle is. We just had somebody healed of a huge miracle. And the doctor said, well, I don't think you ever had cancer in the first place. We actually had two of these happen. Somebody testified in church today to one of these, a miracle that she caused. Somebody in our church caused a miracle, and the doctor said, there's no cancer there. I don't think you ever had cancer. Let me tell you something, folks. That guy had cancer. He lost a third of his body weight. He was sick. He, he, he had esophageal cancer that had spread outside his esophagus. He was dying. But his mother-in-law got him healed. His mother-in-law, a lady in our church, caused a miracle to happen in his life because she wouldn't give him up. She refused to let him die. And he is, he, that guy is not even born again that I know of. He has no faith, but she made a miracle happen in his life. Now I'm telling you folks, miracles can be had. And she got one. Go to Amazon, get this book, call me, let me speak miracles over you. If you need a miracle today, you call me and we will get you a miracle. At my website, increasenow.com, go there. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. My phone number is right there on the top pay, top of the page of my website. This is probably the only large uh, ministry in the country where the minister's phone number, his personal cell phone number, is available on the first page. You call me and I will get your miracle for you today. I love you and I care about you. I want you to have a miracle. Amen. Share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know to get this book. You can get this book. Even if you don't have time to get this book, if you need a miracle today, call me. If you need a financial miracle today, call me. And I will prove to you that God does miracles. I love to prove to people that God's word works. Glory to God. Share this with everybody. Please tell everybody you know about this. And then subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get the word out that miracles are available. How to get a miracle. It is not difficult to do. I love you and I care about you. I will see you right back here again tomorrow. And in the meantime, let's get your miracle for you.